Just coming down from the campground, uh, about 25 miles to Libby from the campground and ran into the Libby Dam Overlook. And this is the end of Lake Kukanusa, and then it turns into a beautiful river. So we should be in Libby in probably an hour and a half, and it's another beautiful day. So I was asking this gentleman what the difference was between a reservoir and a freshwater lake. Freshwater lakes are gonna have uh, nothing holding back their water. And nothing's controlled by man. Where this lake, like the reservoirs, have dams on them and control built facilities by people. The Army Corps does a lot of dams to control flooding, irrigation. When we were in New Mexico, one of the dams there at Cochita, how long was that dam? Five miles across to control the uh, Rio Grande. And they do a lot of nice campsites too. It has nothing to do with the army. Well, some people get that confused. Nothing to do with the army. It's just the way they regimented it. It's the Army Corps of Engineers. They work on waterways across our country. And then he says to me, hey, we're YouTubers. Yeah, we're YouTubers. <laughs> Y'all can look us up. Wow, you've got YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. We're almost famous. Almost. Yeah, about 100 more thousand subscribers. 100 more thousand. 100 more thousand subscribers and we may be famous. <laughs> Dam Overlook also has really nice bathrooms and the most important thing is charging. This is really helpful because I was just using my solar panel. Oh my gosh, look! You've never seen my whole body. It's always just my head. See, how do I do this with the reflection? I think I do this and then I have to look at the lens. Is that right? I think like this. <laughs> that couple was really adorable. They've been traveling for seven years. They sold their house and everything in Florida. They are just circling around going wherever. Their RV is from the 1970s and they used, they actually were getting turned away sometimes, not often, by RV parks because their RV was too old. Their trailer was too old looking. Like, doesn't that sound illegal? Like you can sue people over being prejudiced, the comments someone makes, but you're being denied a space to sleep because of what the RV park is trying to make a certain impression. They fixed it up. I don't think they fixed it up for that specific reason. I'm not sure, I didn't ask. And they're my first couple that I'm meeting that doesn't have a home. Everyone else is, they have a home and they're just out traveling in their RV. The nomads, right? That were a certain breed and a certain personality. That's their camper. It's one of the nice things about not driving your camper is you can leave it and go explore. Just dumped down under 37. The traffic is not that bad. Going this way, there is plenty of space for people to go around you. Although Latimer, the people that were gonna warm showers host me in uh, Eureka, said go left here, go over the bridge, take a right, and there's a paved road back in there. So I think I kind of see it, and I think it'd be really pretty. You're gonna just be running parallel to this road. I hear a choo-choo train. This may be part of adventure cycling, this route. Oh, it's so nice. Just such good luck. Just like there's some, something always guiding me, crossing my path. Whee! I just turned around because I passed a really big bird on the side of the road and it could be a turkey, but I just wanted to check because sometimes, you know, if it's like hit by a car and it's hurt, are you a turkey? What are you? You are hurt. It's a little it vulture like. Oh no, look at him. Was his wing? Were you hit by a car? You're so huge. Oh, you can't fly, can you? Oh, I can't bring you on my bicycle. You're probably so scared right now. You could like really do some damage to me with your claws and your beak, couldn't you? Gosh, look at all those feathers. It's a golden a eagle. A golden eagle? Twice the size of a bald eagle. I don't want to video the guy, he had a gun strapped to his chest, it was great. 
He said a bird will rip you to shreds, you know, their feet, their claws, even if you can't fly, which I kind of knew, but I didn't know it was an eagle. And then when he said it, you look at its face and you're like, oh yeah, I totally see it. They're twice the size of a bald eagle. So he said, call Fish and Wildlife. I tell them it's a half a mile past the re-rig. So I don't have a strong signal yet, so I'll do that. But yeah, it was huge. It would be a crappy way to die just starving to death on the side of the road. One thing that's been a real frustration, by the way, while I was just trying to make a phone call, here I am right outside Libby. There's trains, homes trickled, no Verizon service. We're all over the nation, we're the best. Satellites floating in space for GPS. We're going to the moon! But we can't make a phone call right outside towns, or even in towns. That's one of the biggest mysteries to me, I swear, for years. This cow's feet are horned like a rhino. I wish he'd take a step. Watch him step. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's gonna lay down. Oh my God. Oh, and then he has to put his leg under. Look at his hoof. What is that? Oh my gosh, they didn't fix that for you. Or maybe it's something that I'm just ignorant and you can't fix it. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Here's the farm. Just outside Libby, I mean, look how nice it looks. This disturbs me when I see stuff like that because I feel like there should be a way to fix it. But anyway, I'm guessing maybe there isn't because the farm looks really well taken care of. Um, but that doesn't mean they take care of their animals. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look into it later. And I just wanted to like Airbnb and these Airbnb people like really starting to get obnoxious. Started out reasonable or was better than hotels or motels and you got an opportunity to stay somewhere personal. And this is a room with a kid's bed in a house in Libby for 150 a night. Like if the room was worth it, it's not worth it. There's so many people that made a zillion dollars off Airbnb, but there are a lot of people that suffered. Families couldn't find places to rent because the rents of regular places were obnoxiously high because it was supply and demand. Since everybody was doing Airbnb, to find something where you signed a lease for a year was, ob was obnoxious over the top. And I'm one of those people. I struggled finding something that was reasonable. I think I need some food because <laughs> I'm just feeling really irritated right now. Right before coming into downtown Libby, I saw this river. I just called the RV park. Libby is considered a hot spot right now from the virus. The bathrooms were closed at the RV park and they don't do tents. And so she told me about a place, the fireman something by the park. It'll take tents, but there's no showers. I look at couch surfing. A lot of people like haven't checked in for like since last year. I looked into warm showers. The choices were like nothing. I'm just tired after yesterday. I need like a, just need a break. Just want to get my body underwater. <laughs> So guess what I'm gonna do? Take a dip. And of course, nobody's here. A woman now happened to just show up walking her dog. You go to a place and it's there's no one there. You're gonna maybe get naked. Someone shows up. Time to shave the legs. Libby, Montana. Look at this awesome eagle entrance into the main downtown up there. I call this a shit town just because everything's run down, like the sidewalks. Even though it's old, which I like old places, it, this is just not well kept. This is the main drag. Their furniture is like from the 1980s, at least it looks like. Cute little theater. Oh, look at the old Sears. You see how it's kind of like deserted. You would not call this a cute town. I'd call it an old town. Just didn't hold on. It is neat though, a lot of the stores are so old school, like this is where you come to get your furniture. I'm sitting here at Burger Barn, charging. My Wahoo actually died completely, I didn't even realize. Look at this meat. That's like worse than McDonald's. Fries are a little dry, needless to say, I'm not impressed with their food at all. We're gonna go check out this motel because I'm just curious. Impress for service. $150 <laughs> for like this typical little motel. These are the ones for 90. I know you can't see because everything I'm shooting is facing the sun. Yep, 90 bucks a night and you can stay here. I'm trying to find this campground and look, I'm sure there's another way, but this is how my G GPS was kind of bringing me. I'm glad I can cut over to the supermarket. That's kind of neat. They have these huge eagles everywhere, these sculptures. Is he straight ahead? Oh, it's really cool. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Here's the entrance right across from a casino. So you have a casino if you stay here. Oh, like a visitor center. It's closed. There's a park. <laughs> it's taken me a little bit to get situated here if you haven't figured that out. 
Ah, uh, here's the camp hose. All right. Five day camping limit. It's situated behind the supermarket, which can feel a little shady. I'm gonna call it a shit campground, but it is only $10. It's a place to sleep. So I chose an elevated spot versus in the woods. I figured they have more to steal than I do. So if anyone's thinking of getting wasted tonight and going out on a, a stealing spree, they're gonna pass me up. The picnic tables are kind of ratty, but you do get a fire pit. I like when they have the grill. It's extremely useful. Does my hair look any better than I washed it? I use shampoo, but you shouldn't use regular shampoo in the river ever. Even with that environmentally safe stuff, I think it's because it has so much oil in it. I just felt like I just had to keep washing it. it was, my head was so itchy. It made my head feel like it was still filled with dirt. And yeah, it made a difference. Anyway, there's no excuse. I shouldn't have done it. So I shouldn't have told you. There's a lot of you are gonna yell at me now. I had a negative moment and I acted on it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, environment. Does it make up for it that I called in that eagle to the wildlife center and I had to wait for somebody to pass me and I'm waiting and waiting. All for Mr. Birdie. I know, it doesn't matter. I was still wrong. I'm not gonna try to justify it. So something else that sucks about this campsite, there's no rocks or anything and digging your stakes into the ground is very difficult. It's tons of this hard packed gravel. If you get here and it's really windy, you're gonna have a problem. So hey, campgrounds, can you, uh, you know, drop off a bucket of rocks? I mean, I'd have to just really dig and dig and dig, which is I could do now, but I'm just gonna bitch instead. What am I doing outside the supermarket? Sitting on a bench. It's nicer here than sitting on my park bench because when I sat on the park bench, like the whole thing almost collapsed. I'm having a little nighttime snack. The worst thing you should eat, it's like 8.30 at night. It was only $2. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be five since I'm so cheap and I love sugar. I mean, it was like a dream come true. <laughs> One thing that's super different between this town and um, Eureka and, a, and maybe like 70 miles apart, everybody has their mask on here. It's mandated there too. But in Eureka, it was like 40% of the people had their mask on. It's night and day, it's really interesting. All right, I better start eating because people are wondering what I'm doing <laughs> sitting out here without my mask on probably, but that's because I'm gonna start eating. I did end up putting the rain fly on just because this guy pulls up with a truck with nothing and but a big tent and then a car pulls up and I know sometimes people have like drug parties this way. This is where they can go and totally get fucked up in a tent and they don't have to worry about neighbors. They can make noise and the smell and everything is outside. It's actually a really smart way to do it. This is what I do when I'm in areas like this just to deter people. You know, they can't see what the bike is right away and they would have to move that, which would make noise. And then I have it locked underneath. It's just a really simple rain jacket that I got from um, Lowe's. This is my backup ground sheet. I think I did a video of this showing how it just would work if the red one got lost or got ruined. I'm gonna go in my tent now, go through photos and let my big fat cupcake dissolve. I was gonna add, but I didn't wanna talk outside. So the guy who, who I think is having a little drug party in his tent, set the tent way back, not where tents go. And there's nothing in his truck, and he's just got t-shirt and shorts on. And then the guy across from me, across the road more, he's right next to the supermarket. So when I was out there eating, he went by me. He goes in front of the supermarket around, like into the cemetery and kind of loops back. He's done like five loops since I've been here. He could be getting a call, jumps on his bike, goes out in the parking lot, does his drug deal and then comes back around. Now you might all think, oh, she's being paranoid. No, I think I'm just using common sense. I've been around the world enough to see patterns. It doesn't mean I'm right. It's just something to be aware of. And just how the guys look, it's Saturday night. Once you go to enough campsites, like they're not, they're not campers. <laughs> they're just hanging out here.